back in the kitchen today and I'm going to show you how to make the simplest thing possible. Join me and I'll show you what I'm making. Welcome back guys to Cooking Without a Clue. We're back in the kitchen today. Uh, today I'm going to make something really simple. So pay no attention to all of this. This is what you're focusing on. I'm going to make to you the most, the most, bestest, the best mashed potatoes that you're ever going to have. So if you want to join me and um, I'll show you how it's done. Come over here. I've already prepped a few um, potatoes, like a bunch of potatoes actually, because my wife is going to use some as well. So that's more than what I would normally use for, uh, for mashed potatoes. They're the waxy ones, you know those red ones? Now if I knew what uh, brand or what uh, species of variety they were, I wouldn't be calling this show cooking without a clue. I don't have a clue, but they're the red ones, waxy. A couple of these guys, a couple of garlic cloves. I'm going to do this the proper way today, with parmesan cheese. Or you can do it the cheeks way and have the grated parmesan cheese already in the bag. So come over here and I'll show you what I'm doing. All right guys, as you can see that I've got the water on the boil here, or close enough to it. I'm gonna grab a, a good bit of salt there. Actually, probably even double that. It's all gonna get washed out. There you go. Put all the salt in there. And then all of these potatoes go into the water. Now I've just gotta be real careful putting them in. I don't splash everybody, especially the camera person. Okay, they're all in. Okay, now, now that I've got the potatoes in there, these bad boys go in too. Two cloves of garlic. You could probably put some rosemary or something like that in there as well, but two cloves of garlic make all the difference. So now, what we'll do, I sort of wasn't really ready for this. I'll give that a little stir with my knife instead of uh, a wooden spoon, because I don't have one. And uh, we'll leave that for the boil. 20 minutes or so. Now while that's cooking away, get the milk ready, block of butter, and as I said, the cheese. So what I'm gonna do is while that's cooking away, we've already got the coleslaw made. I'll show you that on another show. I'm gonna whack these bad boys on the barbecue. They should be done just in time for the uh, potatoes to come off. So uh, we'll see you back in about 20 minutes. Okay, pour them back into the same pot they came from. Try and keep them off the floor. Uh, anyway, we'll keep moving. One, quite large blocks, but you can see that there's a lot of uh, potato in there. So we'll chuck those two bad boys in there and we start mashing. Now remember, somewhere in there is two cloves of garlic. I don't know where, I haven't seen them. They're in there somewhere. So we just mash them up. Okay, I found the two cloves of garlic, they're all mashed in there. So once you get it to this stage, sort of, you know, mash it, mash it as much as you want. If you want to mash it less, mash it less, it's no big deal. Pour some milk in there. A lot of potatoes, so we'll put a, a fair bit of milk in there. Now the more milk you add, the creamier it's going to get. Like, you know, it's going to get more smoother. It's going to get a lot smoother. So what you do, just make it as smooth as you want. If you want more milk, add more milk. If you want it nice and smooth. If you don't want it nice and smooth, if you want it like rustic like this, then that's all the milk you add. You just do it a little bit by bit. Just like that. Give that a good mix around. I like mine a little bit smoother. So I'll add a little bit more. Not much. Give that another stir through. There we go. Okay, right about this stage. See how it's sort of not too smooth, but it's a bit smoother than what it was. That's about it for me. Now what you do now is you grab the salt and pepper. A good pinch of salt. Even though you cook them in salt, it's not salty. The water's like absorbed all the salt. A little pinch of pepper, not too much. The kids are going to not um, really be too impressed with that. And then the parmesan cheese. 
right? Now, some people have this misconception that Parmesan cheese stinks like, well, oh, I'm not gonna say it, but it really stinks. Yeah, that stuff that you buy in the little tub, same cook color tub, it, uh, it does smell a little bit. But this stuff here, you can sniff it all day and you won't smell anything like that. It's absolutely beautiful. So give it a good grade of Parmesan cheese. Don't be afraid of it. Get it in there. And like, if you don't want to use the block, do it the easy way. Grab the packet. Just open up the packet. Grab a handful, it's the same stuff. There you go. Throw it in there. No problem. Now, because it's stinking hot, just give it a mix through. It'll all melt into it. Now, I kid you not, this is going to be the best mashed potato you've ever had. It's got garlic, it's got salt, it's got pepper, it's got this creamy, buttery taste. It's got the beautiful parmesan cheese right at the end there. You serve that up to anybody, any one of the kids, adults, adults with teeth, adults with no teeth, they will love it, I guarantee you. There we go, that's pretty much that. That is simple, dead simple. How quick was that? 20 minutes, you prep the rest of the dinner in the meantime, off you go. So we'll serve it up and we'll give it a shot. Okay guys, so I've cooked up a T-bone steak on the barbecue. I like it medium rare. My wife, not so much, so yeah, it's been sitting about 10 minutes. What I did is I chucked a couple of knobs, small knobs of butter on top of it to melt into it. Got a little side salad there of uh, coleslaw, homemade coleslaw. There we go. So today I'm not even going to cut open the steak. I'll show you how to do that another day. Because today is all about the potato. Look at that. Do another scoop of that. Like that's that's huge. It's like Fred Flintstone would be happy with that one. We'll get rid of this. Anyway. That's it there. That is the best mashed potato you will ever have. And I want you to comment down below, once you've watched this video um, and you've tried it, give that a go and then let me know how you went because I kid you not, you're going to love this. So uh, let's try it and see how I did. Okay, your mashed potato there. Oh wow. Mm. You know what? A little more cheese. So probably grate another good few grates of, of cheese, parmesan cheese, and um, give that a mix through. A little bit more salt, I guess. Probably didn't put enough salt, but beautiful. As opposed to simple mashed potatoes, which taste like potato with water. You know, it's like a bit watery, unless you add a lot of salt and pepper. This stuff here, garlic, parmesan cheese, some milk, and a good knob of butter. You'll never go back to the old way again. Anyway, join me next time. Comment down below and uh, enjoy what you eat.